at the actual story. So when you say you work there or you work in different cities, what you exactly do in these cities? Okay, so uh, Alhamdulillah. Islam Basically, before we get into that, sure. th that story. specific story. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we have five different departments: mm -hmm. um, uh, hunger prevention, uh, yeah. tr transition home, Alhamdulillah, uh, uh, health services, uh, back to school is, is a department. Now we have disaster relief department and a Muslim family services. I'll break it down for you. Um, right. Many. Uh, uh, cities probably have different organizations, those who work and they have shelters in different cities. But the, the, the best part about the Islamic Circle of North America and Ikna Relief is we have a network of uh, transition home at the shelter, those who are in different cities. We have far, uh, four full time uh, n uh, domestic violence shelter, and the rest of them for family shelter, with the, the sisters. And, and the children can come and stay there. Mm -hmm. The purpose for them, uh, for us to have a transition home, we wanted to make sure our sister, those who are going through any kind of difficulties in life, and we want to give them uh, the dignified way of living. We, we don't keep them in shelter for long term. They live there for six months to eight months. We train them to become self-sufficient and positive members of society and moved on. Mm -hmm. That's a purpose, not just, we don't want people to come and stay there for a long time. Right. So we want them to come and learn and teach them and moved on from there. S and hunger prevention, alhamdulillah, we have 48 food pantries, 48 food, food pantries obviously for every American, whoever needed, they can come anytime with a schedule, they know, they, they know what time and where, they can come pick up the food. We want to make sure our fellow American do not go to sleep hungry. We can be a Muslim having a full meal and our neighbor is suffering. So that perspective, we opened 48 pantries, and we're still growing in different right. cities. So generally, these are some of the, 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 the humanity services you right. offer in different cities we as have the need arise. Definitely. We have um, uh, health services, alhamdulillah. We have about eight full-time clinics, the physical clinic that people come in, and they're free. They can come in mm -hmm. and do all, uh, get all the service for free. But we have four mobile clinics. We've probably seen in disaster and and the non-disaster time, they go out in, in, in a place which uh, er, er, um, uh, our elderly and, and the people, those who are not able to come out from mm -hmm. their houses, mm -hmm. we usually go to their community and help them because the mobile, mobile clinic help uh, make it easy for us to go and do the health fair and other, other treatment there. Right. That really make a difference when people see the Muslim for humanity, a sister wearing hijab and brother wearing, you know, big beard and t-shirts say Muslim for humanity. We don't have to say we are Muslim. Of we don't course. have to say we are here to, you know, show a positive faith of Islam. It just get to your heart. Okay, you see a Muslim you've never seen in real life. You probably see Muslim on TV, probably see in different news. Right. But you're really getting to see and, and have the interaction, have that communication with Muslim. You realize this is what real Muslim look like.